Hello, everybody. This is the Friendly Bear Podcast, where we interview some of the best and brightest traders in the trading community. Listen to inspiring stories and nuggets of insight from current and future game changers in the trading space. Listen and learn as we explore all types of trading niches with some of the best in the industry from a Friendly Bear point of view. With that being said, I am your host, David, aka Reverse Long, and this is the Friendly Bear Podcast. Let's dive in. One second. All right, so this is um the Friendly Bear Podcast. I'm here. This is David. I'm here with uh, Noam from Spike Eats. He runs uh, the data software that pumps out information to, to uh, track data on stocks and equities and all types of things. So I'm here to ask him um questions on how I can possibly use it in the future and just so you get some information on it so other traders and stuff can get information directly from the source, which is Noam. How are you doing, Noam? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, um, okay, so we were talking a little off air about uh, Spikey, but let's start from the beginning. So let's, um, so what made you want to start Spikey? Yeah, so um, the reason we started uh, Spikey is because uh, I was looking for a software or a place to essentially pull loads of financial data, mostly historical data, and they have the ability to scan through the market 20 years back and you know pull whatever data I want uh, in a matter of seconds inside in a spreadsheet or whatever other place I want. And after scouting the internet and talking to a lot of traders, consulting people, I came to a decision that there's basically not a really good place to do that, especially if you're not a developer. Um, so uh, given that, you know, I started playing around and thinking, okay, this is a problem, a potential problem that a lot of traders have. It's a big pain point that I'm sure other traders are facing, how can we solve it? How can we, uh, you know, create a system or a platform or a way for people to actually, you know, get tons of data uh, instantaneously, fast, high quality data without having to, you know, pull thousands of charts and starting to open spreadsheets and manually inserting the data into the spreadsheets or, you know, some kind of other crazy way. Uh, and you know, we started working on it, and it's and it's been a hell of a ride since then. Wow, that's great. Okay, so um, and where are you from originally? And can you give you a background yourself? Uh, did you trade in the past, or you know, um, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so I'm from Israel. I'm based in Israel, um, and I was a trader as well. Uh, I started trading around 2017 and I quickly realized that uh, discretionary trading is not for me. Um, I need to deal with numbers and I need to build strategies that are proven and that are based on, uh, on data. Um, so um, I've been trading for a while and then, uh, you know, once I came to this decision, I put the trading aside and I, uh, you know, wanted to create this platform that can really help me and other people uh, fetch data and, you know, create strategies based on the data. That's great. And uh, so how long did it take you to develop Spike Eats? Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Uh, so at the beginning, it, it's actually funny. Uh, in the first... Uh, you know, when we started, uh, there wasn't really a platform, so I had to do everything like manually just to test the idea out. Um, so I would, you know, I put up like a landing page and I and I created like, uh, you know, a website and, and that took uh, a few days just to test the idea out, to test how much traction uh, the platform can get. And is this really a big uh, problem, uh, as I think? Uh, and then once, you know, uh, we partnered with a big uh, trader, who's really, uh, you know, uh, a valuable trader, Tim Guitani. He helped us a little bit uh, in the, uh, you know, 
formalizing uh, everything and, and, and gave us a lot of good input in the beginning. After that, we got like a big uh, uh, traction. We got like a thousand people coming in and, and, and asking questions and wanting to know more. Uh, after this, we actually started developing the, the, the product itself that's uh, alive to date. That's what you see when you go in and uh, you're able to use it. And that took about uh, six to nine months to develop. Uh, it was very, you know, challenging, very interesting, uh, but very rewarding as well, seeing the results, seeing what we were able to do and how are we able to actually, you know, solve this problem and minimize uh, the time it takes to get data, uh, to get it in a good way. Uh, and um, that's it. Now we're, you know, it's already been like two years since we started and we, we are every day, we are adding more features and, and continuing our journey. Well, that's, okay, again, that's super interesting. So, okay, so I learned about Spike Eat also from watching Tim Gratani's, um, I, I guess you call them DVDs now, but they're not really DVDs anymore. But, uh, but yeah, so I, I was watching his stuff. So even the, recently, the, the Trading Tickers Part 2. So for you, like when he approached you, what was he, do you remember any conversations you had with him about like what exactly he was uh, trying to, trying to you know use spike eat for like are there any things that that maybe um he wants spike eat to do but it, it hasn't been done yet you know what i mean like maybe future stuff or like do you have, do you know any because like you know i'm, I'm just uh tim Gritani has really influenced me because i'm mostly short seller and his whole journey he's he's the one that um i learned from the most through all his techniques and and strategies on how to you know get started with short selling and what enticed me because I'm, you know, to even just focus only on short selling, you know? So, but yeah, yeah. If you want to get into that a little bit, if you know anything. Yeah. So um, regarding my interaction with him, uh, it was actually quite like innocent. Uh, it started as, uh, it started out as like, I wanted to test some ideas. This is before uh, starting the company or having this idea. And I reached out to him and he reached out back and he was very, very open and friendly. And, you know, we're just discussing ideas here and there. And once I had this uh, idea to start and going full time on this and actually, you know, testing everything and seeing uh, if, this, if this is like uh, something that can help traders, I just reached out to him again, you know, because I had... Uh, I had been in contact with him previously. And from there, he just gave me his input. Uh, he gave me, you know, like uh, criticism about the platform, about the data we're supplying. Um, he was very, you know, helpful in providing feedback. That's That was most of uh, our interaction. I basically asked him questions and, and, hey, what do you think about this feature? Hey, is this working? Hey, can you give this a quick uh, test run? And he did, and he supplied me great feedback. And that was in the beginning, like, you know, mid 2019. Uh, and since then, um, you know, we, we have evolved and, you know, he, he's been asking for new features, which we implement them all, uh, if I uh, recall correctly. And uh, I, I knew like he was going to include us in the DVD because he gave us like a notice. Um, but since then, we haven't really uh, been really in a uh, interaction. Gotcha. Since that, since that, uh, you know, DVD came out. Gotcha. Okay. So, all right. So, um, the data can the data. Okay. So it's like, I, like I seen short sellers use it, equity traders, buyers, short sellers, it's a long, long, short, whatever, but can it be used for other things? Like, let's say, uh, crypto or i guess options it could be used for as well um or other assets markets other markets yeah that's a great question so let me just give a quick uh, overview of like what what can you do now with the platform so basically you can go in uh say you you're a trader and you want to start analyzing data and you want to have all the 20 percent gappers in the past 10 years you know uh, that had pre-market volume of 1 million and 
uh, that had an open price of uh, between $1 and $20. Uh, Say you want to gather all these gappers and have it in an instant in an Excel spreadsheet. This is essentially what uh, you can do uh, with our platform, Spike It. Instead of manually going uh, you know, and, and, and pulling up each chart and seeing, you know, hey, did this gap 20% or more? Uh, what's the volume on this? It's crazy. It takes, it's tedious. It takes months, if not years. So you can go in a platform, plug in your criteria, and then it basically populates all the data you need inside the spreadsheet automatically with our engine we've built. Um, and it can save you loads of time. Now, uh, you can run simple uh, scans, like I said, you know, gappers, volumes, but you can also run much more complex scans, like, you know, what's uh, filtering by the moving average, creating your own custom, uh, custom made formulas where you can do some ex external, uh, uh, like advanced uh, filtering. So it gets very, very complex. And at the moment, we are only like, the, the data we are covering, it's only US equities for the past uh, 15 years. But that being said, we are looking to add crypto data. We are looking to add options data. And we are um, implementing some really uh, interesting and cool new features. Uh, so at the moment, it's only equities, but we definitely have plans to extend you know, to other markets. Uh, specifically, crypto is in our uh, timeline as the next major asset. Uh-huh. Yeah, because uh, I found out about Spike It also, not only through the DVD, but also it was mentioned a few times when I was in Puerto Rico trading. So I trade over there in an office called Trade Space. And there's um, a lot of traders in there. And there's a few that use, um, a few systematic traders that use Spike It. And that's how I found out about it, because I see them using it every day. And even when the market's slow, they're just testing things out and pulling out data and testing it out and pulling, you know, so it seemed like a really cool thing to learn to get involved, even though like I'm more of a discretionary trader at this point in my trading career, I still want to learn, see what's, see what's out there I can use, uh, of course, right? So I saw a lot of like, there's a lot of crypto traders there. There's also a, a lot of options traders. So yeah, um, in the future, if that would be really cool if you can, you know, if, find a way to incorporate crypto and whatever other markets as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's interesting what you said that you have like, you know, crypto guys that are analyzing equities, you know, platform. Yeah. That's definitely, you know, uh, that's what, one of the reasons we did this, you know, to, you can quickly validate or dis disvalidate an idea, you know, even if you're not in the, you trade that specific, uh, you know, if you want, you only trade Apple or only trade Tesla, for example, you can quickly pull the data and start analyzing it without giving this effort of, of picking it up, you know, manually and then uh, analyzing it. It can all be done uh, fast in the background. Uh, by the way, also like charting. So if you want to analyze by, if you're a visual trader, so analyzing not only data, but charts, uh you'll happy to learn that we have something uh ready uh, built for that as well so you can quickly pull hundreds or thousands of charts that answer a specific criteria and then you if you're a visual learner you can uh, analyze that fast i got you okay so since i've never used this the the, the software before so how is it so it you open up the software i guess you download it you open it up and then you sync it with like your charts or how does it your account I don't, I don't understand so how does it get where does it get the data from yeah uh, so first of all uh there is a few videos about how a uh, tutorial on how to use it so i advise anyone who's listening you know to go ahead and like check our youtube channel there's like a video there there's also like a lot of support on our channel on our uh, on our uh, platform and there's also like a discord uh, group so we we have some resources out there to help you better understand how to use it and we are constantly putting out new content so that's a new thing we uh we have set for ourselves to, to release new content this year and um regarding how it works today so that's a web platform so you don't have to download anything to your computer you basically sign in for a free account and 
you can use it, you know, uh, in, indefinitely, like forever, the free account. And you have some pricing uh, plans as well that give you more data. Now, once you go in, uh, you, uh, it's a very, you know, intuitive uh, form you have to fill out. So you put your filters. You now, these are your criteria, like what strategy are you trading? Are you trading gappers? Are you trading stocks that went up 100% in a day? Are you trading stocks, uh, specific stocks like Apple or Google? Like it can be very complex or very simple. So you put in those filters. Then you select which data points you want to actually pull to the spreadsheet. Then you hit run. We generate it automatically for you in your dashboard. And then uh, you have all uh, these uh, uh, spreadsheets generated to your dashboard. You can open them up and start analyzing it. And the really cool, uh, a really cool feature we have is like data updates. So every day automatically, uh, the data from the previous day will be uh, repopulated for you. So you don't have to rewind the, the, the data scan. And that saves a lot of time. You know, if you have some data requests that you set up, you can just enable daily updates and it automatically uh, will give you the new data for each day. And another cool thing we have planned is like an Excel plugin. So instead of coming in our, our uh, you know, our platform and regenerating everything through uh, our platform, you'll be able to open up Excel on your PC or if you use Excel web, and then from there, you would be able to pull data directly into your Excel spreadsheet without even leaving Excel. It will repopulate data automatically for you uh, through this plugin. So everything will be done in Excel. Now, this is a feature we're working on. It's soon to be released. And it will be mostly for our paying uh, users. Um, and that's it. I mean, you can set complex scans, you can set simple scans, you can create your own formulas. It, it gets really uh, deep if you want it, you want to go that to that level. Uh, but you can also do simple stuff. I got you. So like, what, so what would you say is the simple stuff that you can do? Uh, I'm more of like a simple guy, you know, I'm, a, I'm like a discretionary. I see yeah. <laughs> systematic traders are so, uh, how do you say, yeah. sophisticated. And I'm like... I, I'm sophisticated, but like in a different way, you know, but, um, but so what are the, what's yeah. the simple tools that I can use as a discretionary trader at the moment to take advantage of spike it? A simple, a simple, uh, scan to run is for example, in the past 10 years, give me all 20% gappers that gap, you know, 20% over the day that had more than 1 million, uh, volume on the day that their market cap is less than 200 million. And, you know, that uh, they had news on the day, right? So this uh -huh. is, a, is common for like small caps, I think. Traders, they want basically try a stocks that made big moves. They don't want to get like volume below 1 million because that's like noise. And they want market cap less than 200 mil. So you can put this scan and it will repopulate all the stocks that make your criteria in the past 10 years. Like we said, like... 20% gappers, uh, more than 1 million uh, volume, less than 200 million market cap and had news. These are filters, you set, it, you set them up and then uh, you'll basically get all the, all the stocks that met your criteria in the past 10 years, you'll get them in the spreadsheet. You can analyze it in Excel or whatever. And you know you can start like uh, drawing your conclusions, building strategies around it. At the moment, you can only generate data. So it will take your, your query, your request, and pull all those stocks that match your criteria, historically, of course, uh, and it will put it into an Excel sheet. And from there, you can start analyzing the data. Now, we are planning to add like a strategy automation tools in the future, but at the moment, uh, that's a simple query to run. And you can select, you know, to, to get the symbol, which date the move uh, happened, which day did it actually gap, what was the volume on the day? You know, what was the uh, high price on the day? What was the high price on the next day? You know, the day after it gap. What was the close price before it gap? So you can uh, select which uh, data points you actually get inside the Excel that meet your criteria, and you can start analyzing it from there. Um, everybody has their own, you know, way to analyze data. Some create uh, charts. Some create, you know, linear linear regression uh, models. Some 
you know, fine averages. But at this stage, we only solve the data issue for you. Analyzing and drawing conclusion is our next challenge. Gotcha. Um, okay, so you mentioned uh, future features you're working. Are there any now that you, uh, you know, like what, what's the time yeah. frame and what yeah. kind of features are you talking about? Yeah, we're really excited about that. So uh, I mentioned some of them, but I'll repeat. So one is charting. So say you, we take the previous uh, thing I said, the previous example, you run a uh, gappers for the past 10 years. Oh yeah, yeah. You get you get one thousand stocks, right? One thousand cases, one thousand uh, stocks met your criteria. Okay, now you have all the data. What if you wanna actually pull up all the charts? Now, now, uh, in reality, you would have to with the current situation. You would have to go to think or swim or trading view, and and type in one thousand times of stock and then pull the chart, uh, screenshot it, capture it, download it. You know that's crazy. No one wants to input 1,000 uh, stocks uh, manually. So what we are going to offer is charts for all of these uh, uh, you know, pictures that came up in your scan. So not only you'll have the data, you'll also be able to pull the chart for each of, each of these stocks. And you can put the chart, you can pull the chart uh, of the day of the move. You can pull the chart of the previous day. You can populate like, view up on top of it and like moving averages and other indicators so you can actually you know get the charts with those uh data points without going to uh you know think of swim or whatever and then you can see how your strategy performed uh in a chart based way so that's a really exciting feature that we're really excited about another gotcha. thing is like i mentioned the excel plugin which is going to pull uh, to pull data automatically to Excel, so you don't have to go into the web platform. Another thing is SEC uh, SEC data, so we, we want to like implement offerings and uh, you know shelves to the scanning, into the filtering. Right now we have some uh, uh, scanning you can do with that, but it's not complete, so we want to improve that massively. And uh, another cool feature is like strategy. So basically strategy automation. So not only you'll be able to pull data, you'll be able to set your, your criteria for the strategy and we will trade for you uh, uh, back testing your strategy and then we'll, we'll generate a performance sheet for you of how profitable your strategy is. Does it work? How much time, how much percent of the time it works like 70 percent it works 30 percent it fails so we'll be able to generate like a strategy automation uh tool for you and you'll be able to optimize it gotcha so i have a question so you mentioned the data examples that you were that you just did so i trade a lot in the pre-market sometimes um like today actually and is spiky able to get data just from pre-market and after hours like a uh, volume specifically for those time periods and let's say the time of the news the exact time let's say if news came out at 4 a.m is it able to pinpoint the time or yeah, like definitely definitely it will uh pull the time that the news you can filter when you filter by news you can say hey Let's filter by news and let's filter also what time the news came out. So if you want to filter from news from the pre-market, you can filter from news from the pre-market. And if you want to filter for news for aftermarket or going market, you can you actually put a time range for the news. And it's 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 it's, it's important to note that the data is updated every day. So it's not live, right? It's delayed data. So the data for today that the market data for today is going to be available only tomorrow. Uh-huh. I got you. And you mentioned also in the future, you're going to have like some SEC filing features or like to sync with SEC filing. So it's up to date, like on the float, for example, or if an offering was done, if um, like some of the shares were dumped. Yeah. You know? So right now we have like probably 300 million SEC data points. So you can pull all the earnings data into the Excel in your uh, historical scanning. You can pull re earnings, revenue, you know, uh, outstanding shares, uh, EPS is a lot of stuff. So we have big earnings data set. 
But uh, in terms of offering, since offerings are included in, in earnings sometimes, then we do have, uh, you know, how much money yeah. a company weighs. But we are not covering offerings from non-earnings. So like from S, uh, S3 and like, uh, you know, 44B, we are not covering those earnings. Uh, sorry, those offerings. But we do have uh, offerings for other earnings. So we want to basically uh, improve the offering data sets we have. Offerings and shelf. Gotcha. But you can pull how much money a company has, how much uh, revenue did you make, all of that, because th that's in regular earnings. So you can pull that uh -huh. differently. Nice. Um, okay, cool. And what about any partnerships you have in the future? Or you, you kind of have in mind, maybe, or any future stuff? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's an that's interesting question. So uh, we are, like, you know, seeking uh, to partner up with... Uh, some platforms out there, like for for instance, chat rooms that I might uh, be interested, you know, in partnering up or like workers uh, that you know their clients can get access to our historical data. So we are working on on some of those at the moment. We have some leads in a few of them. Uh, but if any of you guys that's that's hearing and you know you are in a chat room or whatever in a, some other a platform or website that you wanna. Uh, interact with us just you know reach out to us let us know uh what community you are a part of and, and we can work on it sounds good yeah i think some people are gonna hit you up um okay and where can okay you mentioned the youtube channel like i'm gonna go ahead and uh, save that and have it in the in the show notes also what what else uh you, you i think you have a twitter you have a twitter and maybe some other yeah yeah, so uh, we have a YouTube channel, we have a Twitter. Our Twitter following is uh, uh, at underscore Spike It, so S P I K E E T. Uh, we post there a lot of you know new information, new content that we are uh, putting out, new features that we've implemented. So that's our uh, main uh, you know uh, channel to view. We also have a Discord channel. Uh, let me pull it up. It's just, you know, it's in our, um, if you go to our Twitter, you can easily access our uh, Discord channel. Um, and we also have live chat in our website and an email address to contact us. So the uh, email address is team at spikey.com. You can shoot any emails you want um, to there. And that's it, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. Um... That was great. All right. Well, thank you for in giving me some insight on how Spikey works and some details about it and, the, you know, its history. And yeah, I'm going to have this on uh, the podcast. And thanks a lot, Noam, for getting going out of your way, your busy day yeah. over there in Israel and uh, taking time to chat with me. That was cool. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, Noam. I appreciate it. I appreciate you reaching out. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Thanks. All right. You have a good day. All right. That's uh, that sums up the okay. podcast. Thanks for listening. That concludes today's episode. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel on the platform you use. The Friendly Bear Podcast is hosted by me, David, where you can find me on Twitter at reverse underscore long. You can find the Friendly Bear Podcast at www.thefriendlybearpodcast.com, as well as on Apple Podcast, Spotify, Audible, Amazon Music, and more. Until next time. Thank you for listening to the Friendly Bear Podcast.